Hi friends, welcome to my another video. Today in this video, I will discuss about the difference between earth fault and earth leakage fault. Many people are thinking the earth fault and the earth leakage fault are same, but it is wrong. The earth fault and earth leakage fault are quite different from each other. I had planned to make video on the topic difference between earth leakage relay and earth fault relay. But without understanding the difference between the earth fault and earth leakage fault, it will be difficult to understand what is the difference between the earth leakage relay and earth fault relay. So let us understand first what is earth fault and what is earth leakage fault and what are the difference between them. So what is earth leakage fault? When a few amount of leakage current is flowing through the live part of an electrical circuit to ground or earth then it is called earth leakage fault and the current which is flowing due to earth leakage fault is called earth leakage current. What does it mean? Here in this photo you can see that the three phase supply is coming and connected with this motor. Let us take an example that in healthy condition 100 ampere of current is flowing through each phase through blue phase through yellow phase and through red phase okay but due to something happened two amount of current is spilling to the body of the motor two ampere of current is leaking to the body of the motor and 98 ampere of current is flowing through the r phase but other two phase that is blue and yellow having the same current that is 100 ampere and 100 ampere so this condition is called the earth leakage fault condition here you will observe that a very minor amount of the supplied current is flowing through the earth and maximum current is flowing through the motor so we can say that the motor blue winding and yellow winding is having 100 ampere of current but the motor r winding having a 98 ampere of current and 2 ampere of the current is flowing through the body of the motor. So we can say here one thing that due to the earth leakage fault the phase is not getting lost. The phase is there, the phase current is there but the some amount of the phase current which supposed to be there in the motor is leaking to the body of the motor. Now let us try to understand what is earth fault. It is the same motor okay and the three phase supply is coming and connected with the motor but due to something happen into the R phase and the R phase completely get detached from the motor. Now there is the R phase missing in the motor now due to something happen which I will discuss later the cause of earth fault but for a time being just understand just accept that something happened to the R phase and it completely detached to the motor terminal and it connected to the ground then what happened in this situation there is a phase loss in the motor and before there was 100 ampere of current flowing through the R winding of the motor in the healthy condition but something happened in the R phase then there will be a zero current is flowing in the R winding of the motor and all the current is for flowing now to the ground so such condition of fault is called earth fault condition so I hope now you can relate the difference between the earth leakage fault and earth fault as in the earth fault the phase not get lost only a small amount of the phase current which supposed to be in the motor winding is leaking through the body of the motor and through the body of the motor to earth. But in the case of earth fault the complete phase loss happen and the current which was to which supposed to be 100 ampere it turned to be 0 ampere due to earth fault condition. I hope you got the difference between the earth leakage fault and the earth fault. Now let us try to understand what are the different cause of earth leakage fault and what are the different cause of earth fault. So let us understand first the earth leakage fault cause. The first cause is insulation failure. As we know that the motor has windings and these windings have insulation. Suppose due to any reason like over load condition or something some part of the binding insulation get deteriorates and it's touching to the body of the motor that time the current will flow through the winding 
and as the some part of the winding insulation get deteriorate or get damaged then from there the current will pass to the body of the motor so this is the earth leakage fault condition there is a there is a current in the winding as well as from the winding there is some leakage current which is flowing through the body of the conduct uh, body of the motor and from the body of the motor it is flowing to the earth so this is the earth leakage fault condition so the first reason is insulation failure second reason is loose connection suppose in the terminal box of the motor we terminated r phase y phase and b phase but the connection is not tight it is loose then might be due to the loose connection the phase wire is touching to the motor body and cause the earth leakage fault condition in this case also the motor winding will have current but due to the loose connection some amount of current will flow through the body of the motor and then to the earth so the loose connection is also one of the cause of earth leakage fault the sec the third reason of the earth leakage fault is aging of the equipment this is very important suppose a motor we purchase and its life is 10 year in first 4 year if we will try to find the mega value of the insulation of the winding then it is came, coming as 4 to mega ohm after 4 year when we do the mega test for the winding insulation of the motor it deteriorate to 1.5 mega ohm but still this mega ohm resistance is enough to operate the motor because it not cause any insulation failure this is just deteriorated but when we measure the insulation of the motor winding after 10 year or 12 year we find that the insulation of the motor winding came to 900 kilo ohm 900 kilo ohm it means when the motor was new the motor winding insulation was 2 mega ohm but after the time of 10 year 12 year the motor winding insulation came to 900 kilo ohm due to and in that of course in that year the motor was in use as we find here with the time the motor winding insulation get deteriorated now when the motor was new at the full load current there was no leakage current as the insulation of the winding is much high but after 12 year when we are providing the motor to run at full load condition there is leakage fine due to the deterioration of the insulation of the winding of the motor so the third case is aging of the equipment the fourth condition is dust or moisture suppose the motor is new everything is perfect there is no loose connection there is no insulation failure but the motor is in if in that atmosphere there is a too much moisture so the moisture will accumulate in the motor winding and it will reduce the insulation of the motor winding and that time when we run the motor it will spill some amount of current to the body of the motor so the mo moisture and dust is also the reason of earth leakage fault capacitance effect i will not talk much about this one because it is related to the electronic devices but it's a fact that capacitance effect also causing the earth leakage fault condition the direct contact of human suppose everything is perfect insulation is perfect there is no loose connection the motor is new no moisture but anybody came and by mistake touching the con uh, terminal of the motor then the current will flow some current will flow from the body of the human and it will go to ground so this is also one of the reason of uh, earth leakage fault in all the condition you find that the current is flowing through the winding of the motor and a small current is spilling out leaking out from the motor winding to the body of the equipment in all the cases there was no phase loss in the motor now let us discuss the different cause of earth fault the first cause is insulation failure in this case suppose the insulation of the motor winding completely get damaged then whatever the current flowing through the winding it will flow through the body of the motor as the winding of the motor is in the physical contact with the body of the motor but there was no any earth uh, flow of current because motor has a very good insulation but now as the motor insulation get fail the all the current which is passing through the motor winding it will flow through the body of the motor and from the body of the motor it is flowing through the ground so this can be the one cause of insulation failure second cause is direct contact of live conductor to the ground this you will understand better from the transmission line example suppose this is our transmission line and one of the transmission line conductor 
fell down to the ground then this condition is called the earth fall condition this will be of three type when one conductor is fell down to the ground then it is line to ground fall or line to earth fall if the two conductor fell down then it will be double line to ground fall and if all three conductor fell down at a time then it will be triple line to ground fault in this case also you find that the one phase is completely lost during this earth fault the third cause of earth fault is the ground conductor falling on the live conductor in the second case we saw the line conductor is falling on the falling on the ground in the third case it is opposite the ground conductor is falling on the line conductor in the case of motor this earthing wire detach and connected to the winding then it will be the reason of earth fault condition and in the transmission line you might be seen that there is a ground conductor passing over the transmission line conductor in order to protect the transmission line conductor from the lightning strike so whenever the lightning strike to the transmission line it will first hit to the ground conductor and ground conductor is connected with the transmission line tower so it will ground suppose this ground conductor fell on any of the conductor transmission line phase conductor then what will happen this phase conductor will be in the direct contact with the ground if the ground conduct conductor will fall on all the phases then all the phases will be in the direct contact of ground so this will be the earth fault condition i hope you understand what is earth leakage fault and what is the earth fault and what is the difference between earth leakage fault and earth fault and the different cause of earth leakage fault and the earth fault i hope you find this video informative if you really like this video then please give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel we will meet in any other video till then take care keep learning and bye bye thank you so much